Welcome back to Vio Essentials, everybody. Today, very cool video as thanks to you, the strong community of Vio Essentials, I got invited to go and give a talk at AWE Asia, which is the Augmented Reality World Expo. It happens every year. So there's one in the West and there's one in Asia and they change countries. And this year it's in my hometown of, well, my second hometown of Singapore. AWE, of course, is where we get to test all the latest different innovations in the world of VR, AR, MR, XR, all this kind of different stuff. So really looking forward to that. So I put a film together about the talk I'm going to give, which is can VR be used to train Olympians? More specifically, youth boxing Olympians. That's what we're going to find out. I think you're going to be pretty surprised about some of the findings. Let's roll the tape. As well as being a national coach for China, Liang is also in charge of training aspiring women who wish to train professionally in becoming the next national Olympian. Tashiga 这么办? <laughs> After we were able to captivate Leong's imagination and get the green light to go ahead, we were introduced by two amazing boxers, one of them called Liu Chua Yu, who is from Henan province, and the other one called Chong Chong Yao from Guizhou. Both boxers were undergoing training for future Olympics and World Championships. However, it would be the very first time that they ever try virtual reality in any shape or form, which is really, really interesting to see how they react and also more importantly, how VR could be adapted as part of the training program to improve, for example, power speed or reaction time. The project lasted for about four weeks and we put together a selection of different VR experiences that would provide them a bit of variety. One of the aspects that was very important to us was to make sure that the boxers had as much freedom and mobility as possible, which is why we decided to use a couple of Oculus Quest 1s, especially at the time, nothing else came close in offering these kind of advantages. We were very lucky to be able to follow this Youth Olympic team as one month after we had finished the project, that is when China went into lockdown as we were there during 2019. As both boxers had never tried virtual reality before, their comfort to us was of top priority. We wanted to avoid especially things like motion sickness. The first experience that we chose to ease them into VR is called Guided Tai Chi by Cubicle Ninjas. The app was very suitable first of all because it hasn't got a lot going on inside of the actual experience itself, so this will limit things like headaches and also motion sickness. After they spent a considerable amount of time inside of the app, we discovered that the controlled movements of Tai Chi significantly improve balance and stability, which are essential for fluid movement inside of the ring. Through enhancing coordination and core strength, we also observed a noticeable increase in punching power and stability. In fact, our study also revealed that the practice of Tai Chi fostered stamina and aided recovery with added benefits of sharpened mental focus and calmness. Additionally, the gentle nature of the VR experience showed promise in injury prevention and stress reduction. As the boxers told us that they enjoy listening to music in their spare time, we decided to provide them with a second experience as none other than Beat Saber, the virtual reality rhythm game developed by two Slovaks, one of which is called Jan Lavsky and Vladimir Henka, and published by Czech game developer Beat Games. Of course, now it belongs to Meta. 
In our investigation of Beat Saber, we found in fact that it improved their hand coordination and also reaction times, which is vital for precision in boxing. The virtual reality gameplay enhanced their spatial awareness and movement, whilst the engaging nature fosters stamina and better motivation. In fact, also the customizable difficulty allowed, of course, for more tailored training, as at the beginning they weren't able to, you know, go far, they had to get used to it, but eventually they were able to play in expert mode, suiting various skills and various levels. Collectively, these findings presented Beat Saber VR as an effective tool in modern boxing training, enhancing both physical and cognitive abilities. On the one hand, we found that our evaluation of Creed VR and Thrill of the Fight for boxing training, we discovered substantial gains in key areas. These immersive boxing simulations, in fact, enhance reflexes and reaction times which are vital for real-world boxing performance. The realistic and interactive gameplay improve physical endurance and precision. We also found mirroring the demands of actual boxing, which was a plus. Additionally, the virtual sparring environments allowed for tailored and progressively challenging training sessions, accommodating various skill levels. The combined use of Creed VR and Thrill of the Fight together emerged as a powerful tool for holistic boxing training. However, we also did find that there was a lack of physical feedback, which made it more difficult for them to really feel like they're sparring against someone who is real, which basically takes away that aspect of the training program. Potentially also, they developed bad habits, both in terms of the position in the way they would move their arms or put their arms, but also in the way that they would grab the controllers. As we found that the way they grab their, they put their hands inside of the boxing gloves is very different to the way that they would grab the controllers. So muscle memory was an issue. And in fact, we decided to stop using both of these apps about halfway because we found it was actually taking over or getting in the way of their actual performance. So in conclusion, our personal investigation in terms of whether VR would be a good addition in training programs for training Olympians even or world champions, the answer is yes, if it's done properly using apps that are customized both to the athletes and the type of athletes, of course, but also in making sure that whatever they do doesn't interfere with real world environments or real world competition. VR这个科技这个这个这样这个科技技术，包括它这个VR这个，嗯，我觉得呢，它在在这个拳击这一块，不仅是游戏，包括它的在在线的这种比赛，最关键的是，我想在训练中，它会对这个能把这些训练的方